Hi everyone, and welcome back. So, uh, it's quite funny since uh, <clears throat> if you were, were expecting me to be talking about <clears throat> pipe smoking, today's not the case since I'm yet again smoking a cigar. So, let me just ask this for a bit. Something strange happened last time since I was making the video where I was smoking my first cigar. I was really enjoying it. Don't get me wrong, I'm still really enjoying my pipe too. But this world of cigar smoking has just opened the doors to me. And um, so I hope you don't mind me talking about cigars for yet another video. Um, how does it compare to pipe smoking for me? This is my second cigar ever in my life. Um, the, the, the taste and the flavor profile is... To make a, a comparison that is not fair, but I hope you can follow me here. Uh, if pipe smoking were, was a cup of tea, a cigar would be a cup of strong coffee. Uh, the taste is uh, very intense, and very compact, and it's very strong compared to pipe smoking. In fact, when I smoked a pipe the same day after the first cigar, uh, the pipe smoke was a little bit underwhelming compared to cigar. Uh, but I found that I was craving a cigar again. So the first, the first uh, experience for me was that I really enjoyed a cigar. Um, the little bit of research I've been doing, and I hope there is a few of you guys watching the video that are that know more about cigar uh, and cigar smoking. So please uh, help me here. The little bit of research I've done so far is that Cuban hand-rolled cigars are the Rolls Royce in the world of cigars. And you can also get Dominican Republic hand-rolled cigars that, that more or less compare quality-wise, but Cuban cigars are just the thing, um, like brand-wise also, and tradition-wise, I guess. So what I was trying to to uh, to because I don't really want to spend like th thousands of kronos to to buy very expensive cigars, but I want something that is top quality. The first cigar that I bought and smoked the last time was quite expensive, and if I were to smoke a cigar like that every week, it would get very expensive. So I tried to find some hand roll. Dominican Republic cigars in a bundle online. And this is what I'm smoking right now. I just got it in the mail. <clears throat> so I got a bundle from something called Cusano Cigars. I'm going to show you the cigar right now. This is the bundle. Apparently, the Cusano cigars are from the Dominican Republic and they are made on the same factory as Davidoff. And Davidoff is a very expensive cigar brand that I really want to try someday, but that's for another time. So apparently the Cusano cigars are made in the same factory and it's made in another brand, trying to hold the cost down. So there's no wrapper on it. Everything is made trying to hold the cost down, but it's still a hand rolled quality uh, cigar with a quality tobacco. Um, and I cannot compare it to Davidoff cigars since I haven't been smoking them. But it comes in the cellophane wrapper like this, in a bottle of 16. And I paid for 16 cigars, 600 kroners, so that is more or less like 100 bucks. So divided by 16, you can make the math. This is a quite, an, quite a cheap cigar for a hand rolled quality cigar. Mm. 
It's called Robusto. But I guess that has to do with the shape. Please help me out. It's supposed to be the, the mild one they have. They also have a church shield, I think. And another one in the same bottle. Like mild, medium, strong. Uh, compared to the expensive cigar that I was smoking last time. Um, the other one was a little bit more creamy. A little bit more sweet. Um, and I was doing something that I guess cigar smokers would really get offended by. But you know, I smoked more or less all the cigar. There was only like this small piece left down to where the wrapper was sitting and uh, I put it out or let it go out by itself and the next day I really craved a cigar and I thought you know what I'm gonna try to fire it up again and it tasted amazing it was even hmm, the last bit of cigar there was just it tasted so good so this thing about relighting a cigar I guess is not so uh, so fond upon in the cigar world. But I often relight my pipe tobacco even the day after and have a great experience. So maybe what I'm thinking is maybe this is the difference between pipes and cigars that cigar smokers are often how to say without offending anyone is uh, pipe Smoking is not like upper class stuff. And cigar smoking can be. It can get very expensive. It can be this type of guys in suits that are often very rich in a high society environment. Um, and you know, I'm just sitting here in my garden clothes, but I'm enjoying a cigar. So for me, it is what it is. And you get out of it what you what you want, so to speak. I mean, you can you can smoke whatever you you can do whatever you like, and you don't have to to be something that you're not. So maybe this thing about putting a cigar out and relighting it is something that you say that you can't, but you really can. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, maybe it's a bad etiquette or something. Or like like bad manners I don't know for me this the cigar tasted absolutely amazing even even though I was relighting it the day after so another big difference is you buy the pipe tobacco and you have your pipe and you combine these two things so that is a variable each you kind of buy the pipe tobacco and say it tastes the same a pipe tobacco is manufactured the same way but when you get to the customer he treats it his own way making the experience unique the the the, the, the cigar is is made and when you light it it smokes there's all the variables to how you would smoke a cigar but the cigars are the same uh, you're making quote unquote your own cigar with your pipe tobacco how you would stuff it into the pipe how would, how you would build the combustion how it smokes how it tastes so the cigar is a, is a finished product that is good or bad but it's done when you light it and you smoke it so therefore the, the cigar is a, a, very much a handcraft and you can appreciate when you have a perfect cigar that is perfectly made with pipe tobacco you could buy a, a good pipe tobacco and make it taste awful you don't know how to pack your pipe and how to treat it, how to smoke it. Here you get a, a product that is more or less finished. So there's a little bit more of a handcraft in cigars and this appeals to me. But um, I hope you enjoy my, my little bit of a rant going on here about my first experience smoking cigars as a pipe smoker and uh, don't get me wrong I really enjoy my pipe 
but um, trying this is uh, so far fantastic. I would say this is more acquired taste than the pipe. The pipe is more a process, which I really enjoy. Um, Taste-wise, the cigar is on, is on another shelf for me. So, before the video gets too long, thanks for watching. And I would really appreciate any tips you can give me if some of you guys are also enjoying cigar smoking. So, okay, thanks for watching.